Hi, hello, welcome back to our channel. Today I want to share with you one of the very important long answer from the nuclei ch chapter that is a radioactive decay lab. Actually, for TS uh, state uh, two years, uh, 2020, 2021, 70% syllabus was there. At that time, they have deleted this answer, but it was a very important time uh, before that 2020 also. And as usual, AP and for Telangana, we are expecting this uh, one as a long answer. That question name is, uh, what is the radioactivity and what is the radioactive decay now? So when we are taking like a heavy atoms, heavy nuclei like uranium, thorium, that one, for getting the stability, they are decaying alpha, beta, gamma rays and it will get in the stable nature. But how to calculate how much nuclei is participating into the disintegration process means it is giving alpha, beta, gamma rays, you can say that is called the disintegration process. Radioactive decay law means that disintegration we are calculating that that the nuclei participating in the disintegration we are calculating with respect to time. So in this what we are taking the disintegration of nucleus instantly alpha, beta and gamma rays is known as radioactive decay, radioactivity. Now what is radioactive decay law? The rate of disintegration is directly proportional to original number of nuclei. So dn by dt is directly proportional to original number of nuclei. Then dn by dt equals to minus lambda into n. Here lambda is the constant. Lambda is called disintegration constant. Disintegration constant. Disintegration constant. Then when we are doing the cross multiplication, we should write it dn by n equals to minus lambda into t. Then both the sides we are taking integration. Both the sides take integration. So we should write it integration of dn by n is equals to minus lambda into integration of dt. So, original number of initial, the number of nuclei are n0. At present, you are taking n. Then, after doing integration of dn by n is the log e n formula. Log e n. Log e n. And limitations are n0 to n. E is equals to minus lambda into, if we are taking limitation 0 to t, integration differentiation cancel, we are getting minus lambda t. And plus constant also you can get it. Then log e. First apply the upper limit. Minus lower limit. Instead of n we are writing n. Minus log e n naught. Equals to minus lambda t. Constant you wish. But this is log a minus log b. We should write it log a by b. Log e. n by n naught. Is equals to minus lambda t. Then when logarithmic function is going that side, it becomes to exponential function. So n by n naught equals to e to the power of minus lambda t. Then n equals to n naught into e to the power of minus lambda t. This is the final expression. What is the use of this one? Suppose for one hour, how many number of uh, nuclei participated into the disintegration? We can use this formula, original number of nuclei and e to the power of minus lambda disintegration constant into instead of t we are writing one hour. Like that one hour, one day, one year, one month, how many days it will take to participate into the disintegration. Everything we should calculate with the help of this formula. That is n equals to n naught into e to the power of minus lambda t. So once again I am saying that what is the radioactive decay? The heavy atoms are participating into the disintegration process like it is emitting alpha, beta, gamma rays. That process is called the disintegration process. Then what is the radioactive decay law? Means with respect to time, how to calculate how many number of nuclei participating into the disintegration process. That is the rate of disintegration dn by dt is directly proportional to original number of nuclei. Then when you are removing the proportionality, you are getting one constant. But here decreasing of number of nuclei, that's why we are taking minus lambda into n. 
then we have to do that both the sides disintegrate here lambda is the disintegration constant dn by n equals to minus lambda into dt both the sides we are taking the integration <coughs> then what we are getting integration of dn by n equals to minus lambda into integration of this one here integration differentiation cancel rhsi we are getting minus lambda t plus constant constant we can take it uh, we can neglect also here and uh, here integration of dn by n generally in mathematics integration of dx by x log ex like that here integration of dn by n means log er but first initial number of nuclei n not at present how many are there n are there first you can apply the upper limit instead of n then lower limit like this is like log a minus log b but here log n minus log n not means log e n by n not into equals to minus lambda t when we are sending the logarithmic function that side it becomes to exponential function so n by n not equals to e to the power of minus lambda t then finally n equals to n not into e to the power of minus lambda t so based on this we can calculate the average life we can calculate the half life also what is the half life the time taken by the radioactive nuclei to participate into the disintegration process and it becomes to half of the original number of nuclei that is called the half life half life how to calculate for the long answer we can do till here only for this uh, half life just we can use this formula that is final formula is n equals to n not into e to the power of minus lambda t so half life half life we can take it n n equals to n not by t and instead of t we are taking t half when you are substituting n not by 2 equals to n not into e to the power of minus lambda t half n not n not cancel when it comes this side e to the power of lambda t half it becomes to plus and here to when the exponential is sending that side lambda t half equals to log e to from this t half equals to log logarithmic function of the 2 is 0.693 by lambda this is called the half life like that what is the average life reciprocal of disintegration constant is called the average life definition is the time taken by the radioactive material to completely participate into the disintegration process that is called the average life so for long answer till here enough but extra you can learn that what is half life and what is the average life already i have done nuclear reactor then no stationary wave open pipe closed pipe doppler effect and from the the current electricity i made that uh, potentiometer answers also maybe these videos are useful for you for long answers compulsory two will come for both telangana state as usual andhra state so you can go through the playlist there you can see the second year laq long answer questions just i have given the heading laq from that easily you can learn it if you want to share to your friends you can share it and please subscribe my channel thank you everyone